don't call myself like a vegetarian, a vegan, none of that. Uh, the, the proper name for spirit is pestitarian. I still eat like a, I eat like a vegan, I eat like a vegetarian, and I eat seafood. I still eat fish. I hate brown rice. You couldn't get me to eat brown rice unless it looked brown from the Chinese store. This is a buffalo chicken patty. And look at the sandwich on it. The sandwich looks really, really good. The crumbs on it. You can see that it's been breaded. Oh, when I tell you it smells like fried chicken up in here. As you grow, as you grow into uh, the transition of the way you eat. Um, things start to taste more and more better and, and even more delicious. Now you're eating a different way. So then your taste buds really start, it's like an acquired taste. It's really start to come around. I'll always be this way. I'll probably always be a pescetarian until the day I die. Theirs are spicy chicken. That's what it's called. Spicy chicken patties. So good. So, so good. I love Boca um, chicken patties. I like that was my number one thing. So many uh <laughs> Fear the lights that's, that's doing vegetarian. Hey, you don't have to be a vegetarian to do vegetarian, but I don't think you have to be exactly vegetarian to eat veggie or vegan. I'm still dealing with trying to uplift my spirit, so my spirit is a little down right now, and I have to wait until I come out of it. Man, shoot, I get to Starbucks and I see they sandwiches, and I'm just like, oh my god, Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All or nice. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. All or nice. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make it. it. It's hot. They look good. Though. Okay, I made it to my car. I'm waiting on Nadine. I'm just warming up the car, getting the heat ready. Uh, because even though it is so absolutely beautiful out here, I feel like um, it's going to rain. Even though the sun is so freaking good. So, like I'm so freaking happy to see the sun this morning. Shoo. Yeah. So I decided that I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to see if they still have the cake pops. I used to love the freaking cake pops and I'm going to get me um, a couple for an ASMR video. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the cake pops. I, I want to say I want to decaf coffee, but not Starbucks. Starbucks coffee is too strong even with decaf. And um, I even heard that like hot chocolate still has caffeine in it. Uh, maybe a low amount. I'm not sure, but... Um, I'm kind of like dealing with, uh, I don't want to say like I feel like I'm, I'm, the word edgy is not even, anchy is a better word. I'm, I'm a little anchy, like feeling, like I'm feeling eager to just do something, get something done, do something different, move forward. That's, I'm feeling anchy about that. Like I just feel very eager to move on you know um get out of my head because i i'm literally dealing with as if a movie is playing backwards you know and i'm thinking about just all of the stuff that i have done over the years all the stuff that i have done where i have done like so much okay Okay, y'all. I'll talk to y'all a little bit. Let me go on this road. I'm at Starbucks, and I keep thinking in my head, I'm supposed to be cooking an egg salad. Yeah. And Nadine's going to make the salad to go with it. Man, shoot. I get to Starbucks, and I see they sandwiches, and I'm just like, oh, my God, Starbucks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. It says cozy is a flavor. Double smoke bacon chat. That's what I usually get the double smoke bacon chatter egg. And I tell them to leave off the bacon. That sandwich is so good. Yeah, that sandwich is good, but I'm not gonna get it. And they didn't say mm mm. <laughs> and I love the avocado. Mm mm. But I always eat that sandwich. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it because we're supposed to do the egg salad. You still want the egg salad, right, Nadine? <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna see what kind of I know I'm here just for the cake pops. I see the cake pops, so that's what I'm gonna get. Morning, welcome to Starbucks. Have you get this? Good morning. Um, the cake pops. Do you have more than two flavors? We have the birthday, we have the chocolate chip, and we have the cookie. Okay, let me have three. Um, three different flavors. All three different flavors. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Did you want anything? Anything? A drink? Hold on one second, please. Okay, that cheese Danish look good. Okay, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. I can't. Oh my gosh. You want the cheese Danish thing? Mm -hmm. Can I also have a cheese Danish? Warmed up? Yeah, do you want it warm? Yes. Would that be all today? Yes, that'll be it. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take the window. When I tell you Starbucks smells so freaking good, it smells so good in there. All I smell is coffee and I'm just like, oh my God. I, my daughter told me I look sleepy, I look tired. And it's crazy because I got good sleep last night. I think it's just, I'm trying, I think I'm trying still to, I'm still dealing with trying to uplift my spirit. So my spirit is a little down right now and I have to wait until I come out of it, you know? Like I have moments. That I'm doing really, really well, and then there are some moments where my spirit is kind of like back into its thinking mode, seeing everything like a movie. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Let me take a look at these cake pops. I'm glad it gave me a nice little bag because I am doing an ASMR video. So, oh wait a minute, maybe it's cheesecake is up in here. There you go, Nadine. They gave me a, a bag, a separate bag for each one. So I'm just gonna pull out one cake pop. Let's see, which one is this one? I got chocolate chip, I think they said cookie, and strawberry, I think. Ooh, that, see, that's pretty. <laughs> that one look like my lips. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is so pretty, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm going to do the ASMR video with that. And then, hopefully, after I eat these cake pops, that'll be my last sweet thing for the rest of the week. And I'll chill the freak out. See, that, I don't really need to mention it, because then the universe will start sending me all this yummy good stuff. And then, and then I'll be turning around with my tongue out. In Walmart, I'm going to get some fresh cilantro and fresh parsley. Everything looks so fresh today. I don't see anything that says organic. I don't see nothing that says organic, but I'm still gonna get the parsley and cilantro while I'm here. look like it don't look like I normally see it so maybe it's just the last of it so I will have to get what I can from it yeah you know how it is when you get inside of Walmart Walmart got so much stuff that I went inside with the intentions of getting sugar-free candy and going to go see the selection because I had a special spirit of light tell me that Walmart has such a huge selection. I'm sorry about the noise that you hear upstairs, but I'm trying to finish this vlog and I don't know how long they're gonna be making noise upstairs. They have no consideration for spirit lists below them, but 
when I got into Walmart, I just started seeing everything that I normally buy from pickles to alkaline water to chips. And I ended up going down every single aisle. And I knew that by the time I got down to the sugar-free candy, uh, my cart was probably going to be full. I ended up spending about $130 at Walmart, but I got everything that I needed. And I feel like I got so much. I, I forgot how much savings you can save at Walmart. And I was excited, especially the fact that I found sugar-free creamer. I couldn't believe it. I found sugar-free creamer. I was really happy about that. I didn't find it in the brand that I normally buy, but I did find it in a brand where I was able to save some money. Oh my God, Nadine gonna have a fit. Honey barbecue chips. Yay. I think I was doing good and look what I saw. Oh my God. I'm all to pieces. Sour Patch Kids marshmallows. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, what's these? Malo Licorice. Ooh, they look like little cupcakes. So freaking cute. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the sugar free aisle to find some candy and maybe I'll see them and I'll put these back. I don't need to be in Walmart. <laughs> they got the Twinkie cereal and then they got the Jolly Rancher like oh my god I can't oh my god this is too cute and it's only five dollars for all these pieces 24 pieces you got your plastic forks and spoons oh my god too cute Wow. Oh my God, look at this one with all the colors. That's exciting. Now I don't know which one I'm gonna get. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one or that one. What do I do? Oh, well, okay, wait a minute. This one might be cute. I like this one. But then I like orange. in heaven i just found me some detox tea and it's caffeine free we got the one for sleep that one sound good that one sound real good i don't know which one i'm gonna get sleep um let's see cleanse digestive support i think i'm gonna go with this one the digestive support that's what i'm talking about yeah and then i think yeah i'll try to sleep later I came looking for my sugar-free candy. They didn't have like a, a wide selection of candy, but I got one bag of mixed sugar-free candy. And I think because I'm at a, a neighborhood Walmart. Oh, look at these. Kinder Joys by the, uh, look at that. You get a whole pack. I think that's the price right there in the United States. Yeah, them things are expensive, just one by itself. That's, they real good though. Not gonna mess with that. So since I'm down, on this other end, I'm gonna see if I can find me some body wash and um, I'm gonna to head to the car. Well, not head to the car, I gotta to head to the register first. I only got one of these left, so this must be pretty good. Cleansing what you're riding, but I can't smell it.
y'all okay so today i am in the kitchen cooking me and nadine cooking together we um we got us some brown rice together we're putting it into the steamer and in the steamer we put um broccoli cut fresh broccoli everything is organic carrots uh fresh garlic parsley cilantro basil peppercorn pepper kanye pepper and is it anything else onion onion uh we ran out of the organic onion so we're using minced onion from um the seasoning and we also added some garlic we add uh, a little bit of the the vegetable uh the veggie butter um or vegan butter and what else we did oh add just two cats full of olive oil and we're bringing that to a steam and i'm waiting for the steam to go off now and then i'm going to take it i'm going to throw it in the pan that i stir fry um the morning store buffalo chicken and i wanted to kind of give you a breakdown on this because i know some of my followers or subscribers are going vegetarian um i wish you a lot of luck on your journey bless your heart because it's not something easy to do um, it's, it's very difficult. It, well, I don't know for some people. My son went cold turkey and he struggled for a little bit with it. But he's actually um, more so vegan. But he said he's not vegan. He's vegetarian. But he eat more vegan. Okay, dig on my rice now. Um, but I wanted to show you the package. This is a buffalo chicken patty. And look at the sandwich on it. The sandwich looked really, really good. Now, we started out with going to do that. This is my first time trying the Morning Star Buffalo Chicken Patty. I was really excited about it. But then um, Nadine was saying, Mom, we should make, you know, our own uh, chicken and rice. Because, we, you know, we haven't had no fried rice. Normally, we go buy fried rice from the, the Chinese store or um, Korean store uh, restaurant. Uh, this time we made our own brown rice just to make it a little bit more healthier. Um, we're using uh, this buffalo chicken as our chicken, which is a um, veggie patty. It's, it's meatless and it's spicy. Uh, I don't know how spicy because it's my first time trying it, but I want to show you what it looked like. And I found mine inside of Walmart recently. Uh, you can get it from H-E-B, Kroger's, um, I'm sure Food Lion, Food Town um, has it. I didn't see it in Sprouts. Sprouts carry vegetarian meat, meatless, but they have like some unique brands that you don't normally see inside of the stores. That's why I like Sprouts. I just recently started shopping there. Um, and, and actually, I'm a pick. I'm a picker. Get this, get that. Not really shopping because Sprouts is too much on the expensive side for me. Just enough for me to get, you know, a few things and try. Now, this is and what it looked like. It's very, very orangey looking. Let me see if I can get in a darker spot. Yeah, let me do it back here. And I'll kind of zoom in for you. But, yeah, you can see the crumbs on it. You can see that it's been breaded. Oh, when I tell you it smells like fried chicken up in here, it smells so good. And this is frozen. I took it out the fridge for the last, like, I think 10 minutes. Um, so that I can cut it and I cut it down slices. I did slices and then I put it inside, you know, um, the pot with a little bit of coconut oil. Now, I didn't do like a deep fry and you can. I didn't do that. I did like a small of a like a like a sizzle fry, not a stir fry, but like a sizzle fry just to get it start browning because most vegetarian meat is mostly already ready to eat. I mean, you can fry it, you can cook it, you can warm it up in, in that nature. Let's see. This one has heating directions for the oven and they have the heating directions for the microwave. That's what I'm saying. They, they're basically already cooked. Now my son was here. He would just throw it in the microwave, throw that sucker on some bread, add some lettuce, some tomatoes, and his uh, dressing and he good to go. You know, it'll be looking just like this and maybe a couple of pickles. Mmm, that look good. They got celery on top of it. That look good. Matter of fact, I was just thinking about the shalante sauce. Ooh, mm -mm -mm. I wish I could eat some of that today. If I was doing a chicken sandwich, I would do the shalante sauce. That is really good. Um, for my special spitter like who asked me where I get the shalante sauce from, I got it from Sprouts. That's where I had got it from. I thought I got it from Trader Joe's. 
but no, I didn't get it from Trader Joe's. I remember getting um, some type of brand. It was like a yogurt brand, and I had got that from Sprouts. And the second brand that I got for myself to try out, I got it from, um, uh, it was on the, sec the next shelf down, which I got it from Sprouts. I thought I got it from Trader Joe's, so I wanted to make that correct, just in case I, I typed in and said I got it from Trader Joe's and you couldn't find it. But, uh, but then again, I could be wrong, because I think I had another spirit of light who told me that they went to Trader Joe's and got that Shalante sauce and it was so good. Hold on, Nadine, isn't that what that, uh, that comment said? Huh? They went to Trader Joe's to get that Shalante sauce? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but just in case, try J Trader Joe's first. And normally I vlog, and I might have vlogged, and if you didn't see me pick it up in Sprouts, I probably didn't get it in Sprouts. Um, yeah, try J Trader Joe's first. Um, I'll try to remember, like when I'm picking up sauces, um, I'll try to vlog it whenever I'm picking up sauces or remember to tell you, um, especially, you know, since I know so many, I have so many, uh, <laughs> fear the lights that's, that's doing vegetarian. Hey, and I feel like you don't have to be a vegetarian to do vegetarian. You, if you just want to eat lesser or lighter that day, or just want to try something new, um, yeah, I think you should. I don't think you have to be exactly vegetarian to eat veggie or vegan. Now, I don't call myself like a vegetarian, a vegan, none of that. Uh, the, the proper name for spirit, as far as my eating um, habits, is pestitarian. And what that is, is that I still eat like a, I eat like a vegan, I eat like a vegetarian, and I eat seafood. I still eat fish. I still eat uh, crabs, you know. Um, if I could get my hands on some, um, mm, what is that? What is that? Scallions. I love scallions, but the scallions that I really like is when I used to get them from the Chinese store. I used to throw them in a hot piece and put them in a bag with some hot sauce. Oh, my God. Yes, I love me some scallions, but it's only once in a blue moon. Like, I think maybe once a year that I get a taste for it. I don't get a taste for something like that all the time and I try to eat seafood at least twice a month um and sometimes I get into the season like this is the season for me where I eat a lot of fish I used to love salmons and I used to love tuna um since I've been a vegetarian but since I've been eating like a vegetarian I, tuna don't sit well with me it doesn't sit on my stomach my body rejects tuna um with salmon I don't know what it is about salmon, but um, I my my daughter loves salmon. We we like we love salmon. It depends on who cooks it and how it's cooked. Where I, cause I don't like fishy fish. I don't like no fish that tastes fishy fishy fish. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can't. You know. So if it's if it's cooked well and it smell well, then um, I can do salmon. But I don't eat salmon as much as uh, now. When I go to the grocery store, they sell these salmon patties at H E B. Um, anyone who shops at H-E-B know what I'm talking about. The salmon patties. Like, I did a video a long, long time ago. I think it was 2016 when I did this video. And it was salmon patties. And it's, uh, uh they, it just, and they have all kind of herbs and cranberries and stuff in the pack. A different type of cheese and it got cranberry in it breadcrumbs spices garlic uh, cheese cranberries peppers mm. so I'm just gonna make my daughter a quick lunch and I hope you enjoy this ASMR cooking and soft speaking video So I get all the way to the Okay. Okay, you guys. This is the end results of my daughter's sandwich. I'm getting ready to wrap that up and run it to her. Thanks. So now I, I'm back. I took my daughter her lunch. She just called me a few minutes ago. And she said, oh my God. Mom, have you tasted this? And I said, no, I haven't tasted it yet, but I know it's good. She said, Mom, this is so delicious. 
they need a fresh in a grocery store. Mm. Mm. Is anyway, they sell that at HEB and it's like a big, it's big. You can make it like a burger and it'd be good. Now, if I eat some, I'll probably do that. I don't know why that's easier for me to eat, but it is. Uh, I'm mostly like a whitey, a croaker. Um, I might eat a trout, I might eat a spot, you know, here and there. Depends on if I can't find what I'm looking for, but I got a taste for fish, you know. Um, I love baked fish, I love fried fish, and um. You know, I, I like fish in them for you and just slowly cook. So, yeah, I'm a fish person. I love fish and crabs. But with that said, I just want to kind of tell you about my chicken and rice that I'm cooking today. And you'll probably see um, a little clip in it from me eating it um, from on an ASMR video. I am going to eat it for ASMR, so I will make sure you get to see what my chicken and rice look like. Just to give you some ideas, you know. Yeah, especially if you are a new cooker and um, rice is really hard to accomplish to be perfect. Um, I struggle with when it comes to cooking rice. Sometimes my rice come out good. Sometimes it's like a gamble. But when I use the steamer, it's usually perfect because it's whatever. If you do one cup of rice, you do one cup of water, you're good to go. I add in everything I want to add in and then I'm gone. But now, it's not always that way when it comes to brown rice. Brown rice cook different from white rice. You know, white rice, I cook like a breeze. Brown rice, I struggle with. And that's the reason why I didn't like brown rice. I hated brown rice. You couldn't get me to eat brown rice unless it looked brown from the Chinese store. You know, now I love brown rice. Now I'm not into white rice. I don't eat... Uh, I'm not going to say I don't eat white rice, but if I don't have to eat it and I don't, I'm not definitely not buying it anymore. I, I definitely buy in brown rice. Um, I have learned how to cook it. I'm doing pretty well thanks to the steamer. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so now my brown rice is so delicious. My my kids love it. Nadine Dream love the brown rice. Um, so today I'm definitely going to eat good and I'm excited about this chicken. And hopefully I, I do a chime in and let you know how was it. I'll let you know how I really. I'm going to tell you, I have had buffalo chicken before. Now, Morningstar makes the buffalo chicken nuggets. And they are delicious. Yes, if you haven't tried them, try them. You can't tell the difference. Can't, I mean, I can tell the difference because, you know, even though the texture is good and everything, I know it's not meat. But it's really, really good. Especially if you're doing a transition from you know not eating meat is so good um but um the buffalo i haven't tried buffalo chicken by um boca i don't want to say that but i have theirs are spicy chicken that's what it's called spicy chicken patties so good so so good i love boca um chicken patties i like that was my number one thing and now i'm trying morning star and we'll see what happens they got so many companies starting or uh, when you go to the grocery store, you got so many more choices now. So you don't have to try something from one company. If I try something from one company, I definitely try another company because I might just like it more. Or at least I know if I don't like it, that way when my money is a little tight and I ain't got room for buying something that I can't really use or eat or disappointed with, I try the different brands that way i'm not you know missing out on something you definitely got to get a different company try now there's some company that i tried um certain foods and uh, oh my god like at that moment i thought i would just like give up <laughs> and then i go back and i try another company i said oh oh my god this is so good you know so you know and then as you grow as you grow into uh the transition of the way you eat um, things start to taste more and more better and, and even more delicious because now you're kind of getting away from really comparing it to what you normally eat. And you know, now you're not eating that stuff no more. So now you're eating a different way. So then your taste buds really start. It's like an acquired taste. It's really, it's really start to come around. Yeah. Trust me. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll always be this way. I'll probably always be a pescetarian until the day I die. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I would <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all back in a little bit. Um, I hope y'all enjoying the vlogs. Um, thank you so much for all of y'all thumbs up, y'all comments. I got the best community in the world. Yeah, Spirit Girl, love you all. 
Oh, this one says non-GE on soil vegan. Yep, it definitely says vegan. Now, now that's a plus. It's not even vegetarian. It's vegan. That that's actually a plus. Wow. It's been a long day, and you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to feel out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. 